Hey everybody, it's Angela, and I just wanted to do a quick card share. Um, this is the latest card that I have done for my mother-in-law to send off to her next week. And it's not a Valentine's card, um, but I was kind of playing with my Valentine's uh, papers and stuff. And then my father-in-law has also been ill as well, and so I wanted to send him a card. Um, they're, they've been divorced for a lot of years and stuff, so they're they're not together. So I could kind of get away with doing a similar card since I already had the stamps and inks and everything out. And so I did um, a guy version of it. And on this one, I just um, uh, did these hearts, and then I did the typewriter with the heart in the as the paper, and then I just put just a note with hearts. And then on the guy version, I did the same thing, um, pretty much, with the just a note inside. So those are the two cards that I made. And for this heart paper and this kind of old-timey newspaper print that has somewhat romantic, um, um, like different perfumes and romantic sayings and stuff like that on it. I use this paper kit and this is called Love Me by My Mind's Eye and so I used like this one here with the hot air balloon and um, the this heart one here and this is a really cute paper pack. I got this um, I think this was one of the ones that was on sale from Vanessa at 77 Butterfly Love, um, one of her clearance items or something. And so I used some of this. And I'm pretty sure I got this from Vanessa as well it, um, at 77 Butterfly Love. I guess I'll put a link to her um, YouTube channel below. And this is the Walnut Grove. And I used some of these, uh, this kind of white, this kind of reddy pink color and oops sorry about the glare guys and this ah, this kind of blue color okay we'll get rid of that it's making glare and so those were the papers that I used that just those two paper stacks and then I used several different uh, stamp sets on here for the typewriter I used um, this one in the Maya Road and I used the Timber Brown Stays on um, which is why I couldn't get my stamp as clean as I'd like, but um, it stamped a really clean image. I was really happy with it. And so I used that for the typewriter. And then I just wanted a little heart to put on the piece of paper, and I had one in this stamp set, H Hugs and Kisses, and that's a TPC Studio stamp that looks like I got at, um, it looks like a Tuesday morning uh price tag. So I probably got it at Tuesday morning and I'll probably leave this one out because I will be making a Valentine's card for everybody soon. So I'll just kind of leave this stamp set out. And then the um, little just a note sentiment inside is off of this. And I don't know, since I don't have the packaging for this, um, I use just this little guy up here. And I use the same Timber Brown stays on. Um, oh, for this little heart, I use the worn lipstick, the Distress Ink. Um, so I got this at Michael's, I know, but I don't know who the manufacturer was. And then on the back I used my little um, Made For You stamp that I got, I showed in a haul here not too long ago, my Cosmo Cricut uh, little um, Made For You stamp. And then for these little enamel dots I used three in some different sizes here and then I used one on each side of the sentiments on the inside and then on hers I used the little red ones and then put the red dots on the inside and I got um, those from Vanessa as well. Thank you Vanessa and those are the Winter Wonderland My Mind's Eye enamel dots and this was the first time I've gotten enamel dots and um, they're really cool. I had never really seen them close up and, and used them, and, but they really make a nice shiny little pop of color, and it's not like, you know, I love my rhinestone bling, but, you know, sometimes you want just a little change of pace, so I'm really liking these. 
um, the stamp that I used on the top and bottom, or I guess I should say die cut, that I used on the top and bottom here, it's a little scalloped um, edge punch. It's this, this little guy. And this is an EK success punch. So I love this one. I use it quite a bit because it's just really simple and it's not too, um, it gives a uh, kind of texture and softens some of the straight lines, but it's not too girly, you know, or too fussy, I guess. And then um, for the baker's twine, I tied the red and pink uh, twine around this one and the red and brown uh, twine around this one. And um, these are the um, American Crafts, you know, that huge pack that they had at Tuesday morning, or no, wait, was it TJ Maxx, I think, uh, for a while. And so I'd gotten that, so I just used those colors. And so that is it, just a simple little card, little, um, I'll make this one in kind of a hope you're feeling better kind of card. And this one, I'm going to just put a photo in and and um, do just a note card. So that is my latest card share. If you have any questions or anything, uh, just leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye.